Aiming in Overwatch can be difficult, no matter who you are. Here, just ask the friend. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jay, hold on. But what if I told you that you could go from having the shakiest aim ever to being able to hit anything that pops up on your screen in less than two weeks. Let's backtrack a bit. My name's Sora and for the past five years I've played pretty much exclusively on console with a controller. What does he's on the menu mean? Huh? He said the loose is on the menu. The menu? You definitely said menu. Oh, what? No. Dish. There was a time back in 2018 where I played on PC for about a month, but my aim never got even half as good as it is now with the mouse in a third of the time. How did I get so much better in such a short amount of time, you ask? I used AimLab to practice for 10 days straight. For those who don't know, AimLab is a free aim training software designed to help you improve your aim as much as possible. There's tons of different tasks that you can do, as well as set your sensitivity to the game that you want to improve in the most. Honestly, even if you're skeptical about aim trainers, the fact that this one is free should be reason enough for you to at least give it a shot. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the exact routine I did every day in order to go from aim as this aim to the top of sniper leaderboards on PC. Although every now and then I would try a variety of tasks, I spent most of my time focusing on these two tasks, grid shot ultimate and sniper shot ultimate. Grid shot is the obvious choice here, it's what pro players use to flex their aim, but more than just aim, grid shot helped me figure out what mouse grip worked best for me and the best posture to have and how to control my shaky hands when aiming. I noticed that my shoulders would tense up when I was going for speed and that would cause me to be shaky and miss a lot, just like in game with heroes like McCree. I couldn't score higher than 55,000 for the longest time until I noticed that my shoulders were so tense. Once I learned to relax and focus on accuracy instead of panicking to get high speed kills, I was able to easily get 69k, haha <laughs> funny, and average over 70k on the 9th and 10th days. As you can imagine, this also helped me improve like crazy in game where I turned into a nut on McCree. Quick side note before I move on to sniper shot is that although grid shot helped me improve aim and react to targets quicker, the best way you can truly climb and improve is by working more on your game sense. Aim is not nearly as important as game sense in a game like Overwatch and the only reason I focused purely on aim the past 10 days was because I already had my game sense from console. After every round of grid shot, I would play a round of sniper shot. Note that I'm using the Venom gun, which is Aim Lab's recreation of Widowmaker's gun. Sniper shot is pretty self-explanatory. Shoot the little targets whizzing past your screen here and it'll help you be able to shoot the slightly larger targets whizzing past your screen on Overwatch. I focus on aiming with my arm and finding the most comfortable setting position I could in order to hit all the targets without ever lifting my mouse and, well, it did wonders for me in-game. Not only was I more confident with Widow in-game, I was also able to start having a more steady hand which, as you can imagine, made me so much more precise.
In fact, I got so precise that I actually shattered the records for sniper shot and am sitting on top of the leaderboards for the Venom gun just days after switching from a controller. Best part is, I improved not only with Widow and McCree, but my tracking got a lot better as well as my projectile heroes. All in all, I still wouldn't consider myself good just yet, but in just 10 days, I was able to improve so much more than I would have in a month of playing the game without AimLab. I still have a long way to go, and I still need to play ranked, but I feel like if I keep this up, I'll finally be decent at least in no time. If you made it this far, I love you, and if you want to see my progress in a month, then let me know and I'll be sure to post that vid. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.